what I want you to do is let's say I'm giving cosine of 5 over 7. The only thing you guys should know about cosine right, right now for this problem is you know that cosine by using SOHCAHTOA is your adjacent over your hypotenuse, right? So if you're kind of like kind of forgetting and you're given a cosine, we know that we can at least write a triangle for this and say, let's say that's theta, that's my right angle. So if my hypotenuse is seven, my adjacent side is going to be, that's my opposite side. Uh, adjacent side is gonna be five. Thanks. Therefore, I don't know what x is, do I? No. Nope. Or we can call it a or b, whatever you wanna use. But now, again, going back, well, theta, we're reserved for our angles. I don't like theta. But um, I'll leave this one as x. So if you guys remember, we're gonna have to use Pythagorean theorem. So a squared plus b squared equals c squared, right? Well, this term I'm not going to use a and b squared. I'm going to use x. So anyways, I'll just use 5 squared plus x squared, because I don't want to use b. I'm going to use x, equals 7 squared. 5 squared is 25 plus x squared equals 49. Subtract 25. x squared is going to equal 24. Then I have to take the square root. X is going to equal the square root of 24. It can't be negative because obviously you can't have a negative distance, correct? So it's just going to be positive square root of negative 24. Then I will see, can you simplify though yes. that radical? And you're probably going to want to do that. So if we say what root number goes into there, you can say 4 and 6, so it would be 2 root 6. All right, so now it asks us to find the six trigonometric functions. Well, we already, um, cosine they already gave us. So if I know, let's just do this. Sine is opposite over hypotenuse. That's sine of theta. Cosine of theta equals five over seven. Tangent of theta is going to be your opposite over your adjacent, right? So it's 2 root 6 over 5. Okay? Next one, let's do the reciprocal functions. So here I'll have cosecant. Uh, I'll do it below. Cosecant of theta is going to equal, uh, is we're going to have, so it's going to be your hypotenuse over your opposite. So it'd be seven over, it's just that one flipped over, two, root six. Well here, I'm gonna have to rationalize the denominator. So I'm gonna wanna multiply by root six on the top and bottom. So what I get here is gonna be seven times root six over six times, root six times root six is six, six times two is 12. All right, here I'm gonna have the same thing for secant. But now it's going to be 5 over 2 root 6. So again, I need to rationalize the denominator by multiplying my root on top and bottom. So here I'm going to have uh, 5 root 6. And the last one would be hot, or as we call it in math, cotangent. So the cotangent is going to be Cotangent here is wrong. Oh. No. Opposite over adjacent. No, that's right. I did my secant was wrong. My secant is 7 over, my cot secant is 7 over 5. That's cotangent. Look at, look at cosine, right? So secant is that just flipped over. 7 over 5. My bad. Cotangent is this flipped over, 5 over 2 root 6. I missed myself in there. So that's how you find the six trick properties. Anybody have any questions on that, especially if you're looking on your phone and not looking up here? Yep. Do you have any questions on this problem? So, related to this problem. Okay, what is it? Um, you know how, like, you told us, right, the nose down and then it has, like, tan 30 degrees and all that. Yep. Well, if it just, if it doesn't give you the angle, it just gives you, like, the numbers, like the hypotenuse and stuff, 
You just use those, right? You don't have to worry about 30 degrees, 45 degrees. No, yeah, for this one, if it gives you like an angle five or seven, you have to create a right triangle. That's why I'm showing you how to do this. Um, what if it gives me a, like, 